Let's welcome back to another one. 40 sitting too high. but it's just the fact that I can see it, it's that feeling. Today, folks, is a very sad day as uh, we lost one of our tools. Not in the sense that we misplaced it, but in the sense that a piece broke. Actually, we didn't really lose it. Um, the replacement part's like $2, but the time it takes to order it, shipping, and everything, so, uh, and we didn't have that kind of time. So we went out and picked up a new version, and uh, my goodness, a lot has changed from the old. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Right now I'm at the gym. I'm meeting my boy Jim. I know, I'm still a little bit sick and I do feel a little sluggish, but you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. The only way to prove yourself is to better yourself. I completely forgot to mention what tool I'm talking about. I probably named it a title, but it's the Rigid Job Max Multi-Tool Versatile. I don't know what that thing is, but that all I know is that thing is just mwah, game changer. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Job Max by Rigid, one of the most versatile, probably a must-have staple in your collection. Whether you're a contractor or a do-it-yourselfer, this thing is just on point, a game changer. I gotta unravel this thing. I apologize. Well, that didn't take long. As you could tell, the uh, the power cord is uh, fairly long. But anyways, this is it, guys. This is probably the first generation uh, Job Max. Uh, by Rigid, been here for a while, and it's still functioning. Except we lost the little clamping uh, nut. This bit over here. Uh, oh, geez, this guy right there. So I tried. We tried uh, jerry rigging, you know, a washer to hold on to the uh, blade, but it didn't work. So I ordered a new replacement piece, which was like three dollars or something like that. And uh, that's going to be coming in. But unfortunately, during that time, guys, we were we were in the job site and we really desperately needed this, guys. So we went out and bought a new one. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to go ahead and check this guy out, do a little unboxing and just do a little comparison of the old Job Max compared to the new one that is being sold in stores. So let's just quickly take a look at the boxing here. So this is the rigid. Job Max 4 amp multi tool kit with tool free head through cool motor technology produces 33% more power. Job Max is the most versatile tool system on the market. They're not they're not wrong about that. Interesting that they have a 33% uh, more power uh, because of their through cool motor technology, which I assume this this poor bastard doesn't have. So let's just quickly peek the back. Some sound advice would be to go ahead and register your rigid because, you know, free parts, free service for life. We obviously didn't do that, hence buying the $3 part. Broke my wallet. Okay, let's just quickly go down these uh, features that this thing has. So, two finger variable speed trigger, LED light. Oh, that one has an LED light too, not a big deal. Hex grip micro texture. That one's got like octagon grip micro texture. Whatever. Compact head profile, universal adapter. That one I know for sure has a universal adapter. Four position head, and that's about it. So, what do we got the contents here? We got uh, that head. Come on, camera. That head, the actual body, attachments, and a carry on bag. Nice, 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 nice. All right, let us go ahead and open this sucker up and do a little head-to-head -head comparison. Let's go ahead and do a little unboxing of the newest version that you can pick up off the shelf at your local hardware store. Nice, don't need that. Awesome, cool little carry-on bag as they mentioned and advertised. We'll go ahead and pop this sucker out. And there we go. Well, this is actually a pretty cool bag. This one also came with a bag and a much bigger one. 
I will say. Uh, so here is the actual tool. We got some instructions, paperwork, all the detail stuff that everybody loves to read, and the additional attachments to that head. And that's it, guys. Pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start with the attachments that it provide us with. Oh, oh, looks like something important fell out. Not sure what that's from, but wow, look at that. Nice head for, I assume, to attach these different types of sanding. Wow, they give you all sorts. P60, P80, 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 and uh, P120. Wow, that's awesome, look at that. Pretty cool, but I rarely ever use this I don't think I've ever used it actually. Uh, well, at least this this type of attachment for the Job Max. Pretty cool. These are the ones that I mainly use. Here we go. First one coming up here is one for probably wood. Oh, there you go. Wood and drywall. Nice large half disc to uh, get some pretty good coverage. And then the one that I pretty much use this tool 100. Probably 99.99999% of the time are these guys. These things are like a must have for whatever, anything you do. Perfect, awesome. Cool, so that is the attachments that you get. Not bad, we'll set these two aside and now let's, let's go ahead and do a little comparison on the two guys. And there we go, starting from the top right off the bat. The heads are completely different. This one is much larger, much larger than the older Job Max. We're going down to the body. Looks like they thinned out the body a little bit. This one's pretty big, larger. This one's got a nice, oh, this is much more comfortable. A little bit more ergonomical uh, grip to it. Not bad, and then we come down here. This part inflates again, and I'm not seeing, huh. Big difference here, look at that. We got some brushed carbon motors here. They got them on the other side, by the way. This one doesn't have any, at least not to my knowledge. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Okay, so there you go. A couple of big differences right there. There you have it. Heads are pretty different. Bodies, very different. This one does feel a little bit more comfortable in your hand as opposed to that one. Uh, LED light. LED light right over here as mentioned and brush carbon motors on this one. This one doesn't look like it has any. Now I did notice this one is, this one is a little bit lighter to hold. They really did split the difference in weight on this one because this one's a little bit heavier. I can definitely feel that. Moving on to the attachments here guys. Fairly simple. Job Max, you got Two sides on either end to press, and you get to release the head. Fairly easy. Very quick and easy to interchange the head. Same applies for this one. Looks like it's the same way. Two buttons on either side, push down, and there we go. Now we have a, we have a much better comparison of the heads here. My assumption that this one probably has more power since it is bigger, more torque. Plus, let's not forget about that through motor cooling technology thing that they've been raving about so much. Not bad, look at that. They kept the same design here, telling you, hey, we got a bunch of heads for this sucker. Spend your money. Oh, okay, now it makes sense, looking at it. Just made a discovery, guys. It looks like this. Yep, so that extra piece that they give you is what goes in there. Look at that. What a detective I am. Alright, we'll put these heads back on. And... Come on. There you go. A little tough. Oh, well, I don't think you can. I think there's only one way to put it on. This one might be able to flip it. Yeah, you can flip it. <clears throat> Kind of, just there you go. All right, so that one flips. This one doesn't, I think. I'm struggling here. Maybe because it's new. Ow. I mean, it works. Ow. Whatever fingers you have left, you get to... Yeah, you can do it. Maybe because it's new. That's probably what it is. But that hurt my finger a little bit. 
Now here is the huge difference. Uh, is this one, you need an Allen wrench to pop up this and change your blade or whatever your attachment you're putting on. You need an Allen key. Now I wish they had a little slot that you can store the Allen key so you don't have to go digging around for one. That doesn't have one. New one works completely different. You gotta slide this up and a little bit of force and look at that. And you have just opened up your access port to put on whatever attachment you are putting on. Attachment or securing this thing is a lot easier. You just slide it forward. There you go, it's already pushed in. Slide it in and you're good to go. Very quick, very easy. Looks like they both kept the forward and uh, reverse bunk function there. Same thing applies here. You got a little reverse and you got a little, wait a minute. Huh, not sure if that's the same function, but there's an option and it pushes in either way. So I, I assume that's probably the same thing as this uh, forward and reverse. So I know I'm a little out of frame on this one, but let's quickly measure to see exactly, are they the same size power cord here? We're about to find out. Looks like it's an eight foot power cord and they both are the same exact size. And that has been confirmed by my little tape measure. All right, let's check out that variable finger trigger speed thing that they're talking about on the box. So here it is, I'm gonna do a little half press. Not bad, I'm trying to keep it consistent here. We'll go a little bit more. Probably 50% here. 75, 100. Okay, all right. So you definitely can control the speed on this guy. Let's check out the older version. Damn, I love that. It's like VTech kicking in. I don't know why, but it's just awesome. Because these things go from zero to 100 like nothing. This one definitely does make a lot louder noise, probably because it's newer. Unless these have always been quiet and I never paid attention to that. But still, I mean, quieter is better. Why not, right? Especially when it comes to power tools. The last thing I did want to check is can this head from the new version work on the old one? That's, that's, I'm very curious. You want to know why? Let me show you why. When you have a bunch of the head attachments, like this guy, or this guy, or this guy, do the, these are all by the way from the old one, this is the old version. Do these work on the new one? Or vice versa, will this work on the old one? I don't, we're about to find out guys. Do I have any more attachments? So these are pretty much the additional attachments. I think there's probably more that I, that I couldn't dig up yet, but these are the ones I found. Um, these obviously all were bought from my older Job Max. Uh, but now I'm, I'm curious to see would these all work with the new version or do I have to buy Ridge's new head attachments? I'm curious. And uh, vice versa. Can I get this new head and attach it onto this old one? Because maybe I could just buy this head because it's one, it's so much easier to put on. And two, probably get a little bit more torque than the older ones. Um, but mainly because I don't need to get an Allen wrench to replace the blade. I could just flip this lever out, pull it back, replace, and go back to town. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead. Well, first I'm gonna unplug all these guys because I don't want power going, being fed to them. I don't want to lose my fingers. I like all six of them. I'm gonna take out the, the new head attachment from the new version, Job Max. My gosh, these things have become so much harder. There you go. So this is the new, this is the new head attachment from the Job Max, from the new version. Now I'm going to see if I can fit the old one from my, this is, I want to say this is like a first generation because this is when they first came out. From the older Job Max onto the new one, will it work? Oh no, no way. Oh, it does work, look at that. Let me plug this sucker in, no way. Will it work? Oh shoot. No, it's not working actually guys. 
Yeah. I think the body's not registering this head. It fits, but it's not registering the head. It looks like they both portray outwards. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, it should function. This is the... Oh, wait. Safety's on. Okay. Well, that was a rookie mistake. Edit. Now I'm going to put on the old head onto the new body. Holy sh... It works. It's making a little bit of a, a whiny noise and the trigger's kind of tough to push, but it's working. Now, that leads me to believe that these guys work now. Now, I've been using these heads in a minute, so I don't even... I don't know. Holy crap. Dude, that is awesome. That is awesome. It works. So you don't have to buy new attachments. Rigid. Saving money already. But damn, this one's hard to take up. All right. Dude, that is cool. So then if the new ones can work the old attachments, then the old one can probably work the new attachments. Older generation, rigid, jab, jab, <laughs> job max, can't talk right now with the new generation head style, head attachment. Dude. All right. Old style body, old style attachment. Great success. That is awesome. Well folks, there you have it. New generation, old generation, if you have the old one, then just buy the new head because it works for your older job maxes. And if you have the, if you buy the new one and you had a bunch of the older attachments, those also work with the new one. So right on Ridge for doing that. They could have easily just made, made you buy new attachments and spend more money, but they didn't. They kept their own fitting style. Well guys, that is gonna do it for the comparison today. I hope you guys learned a lesson. Uh, buy rigid. That's awesome that the, you can uh, intertwine the different attachments and they still work, old version or new versions. Good on them. And uh, you have an older rigid, buy the new generation head attachment. Bam, no more Allen wrench. You're solid, you don't need to worry about that. And it works, who knew? And for a hundred bucks, guys, that is a must have in your toolbox and uh, just with you all the time because who knows when you're gonna need it. That is it for today's video, guys. If you learned something new or thought this was a pretty cool comparison, be sure to subscribe, be sure to like, be sure to comment. Let me know what kind of power tools do you guys like to use. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. With all that said, peace and take care.